Welcome back, data enthusiasts. Today, we're going to learn on creating a publication-ready table for mean comparison test. In this example we shall use least significant difference test to create the publication-ready style table in a very short time. This tutorial will not only save your time but also enhance your data analysis skills. So, let's jump right in. We'll start by loading the necessary packages. These packages provide the functions we need to perform our analysis and create the final required table. Next, we'll import our dataset. In this case, our dataset is an Excel file named data.xlsx. We'll use the read Excel function from the read Excel package to do this. Make sure you set the call names argument to true if your data file contains variable names in the first row. We usually use str function to examine the structure of data. Our dataset contains categorical variables water and priming. We need to convert these to factor variables using the as.factor function. Using again the str function we can see these variables have been converted to factor variables. Further we shall mask the components of the dataset using the attach function to access the variables of the dataset by simply giving their names. Let's apply analysis of variance to the data we have imported. Follow these steps to create an ANOVA model for the specified variables. First, create an empty list and store it in an object called AOV.model. Define an object COL to store the names of variables from the fourth to the last variable in the dataset. These variables will be the response variables for the ANOVA. Use a loop to perform the ANOVA for each of these response variables and store the results in an AOV model. Next, we need to apply the least significant difference test to all response variables. After that, we will filter out the variables where the treatment effect is significant, as indicated in the analysis of variance table. First, we will create an empty list to store the output of the LSD test. Using a for loop, we will iterate over the same response variables used in the ANOVA and store the output of the LSD test in an object called test. In the LSD test function, the Y argument is specified as AOV model, and the TRT argument is specified as the first factor variable. For DF error and MS error, we will use commands to extract these values from the ANOVA table. This entire command will store the output of the LSD test as a list in the test object. By following these steps, we ensure that the LSD test results are efficiently stored and can be filtered to identify significant treatment effects. Next, we need to separate the group component from the LSD test and add LSD values to the results. First, create an empty list and store it in an object called groups. Then, use a for loop to create a final table containing mean values with letter annotations, and print the LSD value in the last row for each variable. We will use if and else conditional controls to separate significant variables from non-significant ones. In the if condition, we will filter for variables where the probability value is lower than 0.05. Here's how to proceed. Extract the group component from the test object. Round the mean values to two decimal places. Append the LSD value at the end of the mean values by extracting it from the statistics component of the test object. Use the paste function to combine the mean values and lettering columns. Round the LSD values to four digits. In the else condition, for non-significant variables, get the mean values from the group's component of the test object, selecting only the first column. Round these values to two decimal places. Instead of an LSD value, append NS, not significant, in the last row to indicate that the mean values are non-significant. Now, we need to combine both non-significant and significant lists into a single data frame. This can be achieved by calling the cbind function on the group subject. This will create a publication-ready table representing the output from the mean separation test. To print this table in a Word document, use the flextable function. After that, compile the document by selecting the MS Word option and pressing the Compile button. This will generate the table in a Word document. Once you have completed the coding, replace the factor variable water with priming and LSD test in groups command to print the final table for the second factor variable. For printing same table for interaction term, you can just specify both factor variables names in TRT argument for LSD test command. 
Also, you have to write first factor variable name colon second factor variable name in the group's command to create the interaction table. And there you have it. A publication-ready table generated quickly and efficiently using our programming. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing this channel for more exciting videos on our programming and pressing the bell icon to get notified about new videos. Thank you for joining me in this tutorial. Until next time, happy coding!